Looking at it, I think we've gained 15 horsepower. I think it should work just fine. We also blew up our engine. Blew up our engine. Blew up our engine. All right, are ready? We bought the cheapest supercharger available on Wish.com, and today we are actually installing it on our beloved shop car, Leonardo the Cabrio. Will this goofy product give our lovely Cabrio more power? Or will it just blow it up? Well, today we're gonna find out with a little help from our friends. I'm James, he's Justin. These guys are Grindhard Plumbing Co. Welcome to Donut. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Now when I'm out pounding the pavement with my floppy feet, it can get a little loud. So I use Raycon's Everyday Earbuds. The workout interrupting sounds of feet hitting pavement, cars driving by, and annoying bird chirps are isolated away thanks to their optimized gel tips and comfortable in-ear fit. And with eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life, I know I'll be able to blast my favorite song of all time during my entire run without missing a beat. Plus, I love that these earbuds stay in ear even when I sprint. I'm totally sprinting right now. With over 50,000 five-star reviews, you know you're getting quality audio, but at half the price of those other top audio brands. And if you want your own pair, sprint on over to buyraycon.com slash donut to get 15% off your Raycon purchase, or just click the link in the description below. All right, we're gonna be honest with you guys because we're always honest with you guys. We bought this supercharger as a joke. And it's definitely not meant for this car. In fact, we don't even think it's meant for a car at all. Universal turbocharger AMR 500 fit for a 0.8 to two liter AMR 500 mini supercharger blower booster. Turbocharger? It's a little sus. If you didn't see the previous video where we bought this thing, you should check it out. I'll put the link in the description. It costs $192. Which in terms of supercharger is Unreal cheap, like that, that doesn't make any sense. But they usually come with a bunch of extra stuff with them. Like uh, hardware and plumbing. And ours came with literally nothing, except for a claimed 10 to 30% increase in engine power. For $192, that's a bargain. So we don't know if this is a supercharger. So to find out for sure, we brought in supercharger experts Grind Hard Plumbing Co, AKA our new best friends, Ethan and Edwin. If you don't already watch these guys' channel, you probably should. In fact, you probably recognize a lot of their projects. Uh, they're known for building insanely, and I underline insanely fast, Barbie Jeeps, amongst other things. You're some of the only guys that I know that have experience with this exact supercharger. <laughs> the one we used, we made 15 PSI boost. We also blew up our engine, so no guarantees on, on that. Honestly, if it makes any more power, we're gonna call it a win. And to set the baseline, we took Leonardo to the dyno. Uh, what do you guys think that he made? 84 horsepower. 80. <laughs> My guess was 80 as well. And mine was 89. Our little cabrio that could made a whopping 81 horsepower. So in order for this to be successful, we need to make at least 82. <laughs> <laughs> I think only gaining one horsepower should be pretty easy. To add a little bit of drama to it, we've only got four days till your visas from Idaho expire. So we better get to work. Oh, there's so much space. It's like I could sleep in there with this thing. Look at all that space. Well, that's, yeah, that can go away. You don't want that, do you? <laughs> How much destruction are you guys down for? Worst case scenario, we put it way over here and just make a long shaft for it. The, every way the it spins way. the wrong way. How does, that doesn't even make sense. I still have to figure out how to get it to run the right direction. That would be the right way. Cool, perfect. So that means it can mount where the airbox goes. The physical you know, mounting and stuff is gonna be super simple. All right, well, more or less got a plan. Uh, time to start removing parts and deleting them. Yeeting them across the shop. <laughs> A roof style supercharger like this gives an engine more air by using the pulley to spin a set of rotors inside of it to blow air into the intake manifold. If you want a more in-depth view of what Ethan is doing, check out the link in the description. So yeah, where are you at with this already? You not done yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, not done yet. That goes about there. By the way, that engine mount is torn uh, in half. I heard uh, we need new engine mounts. 
Oh. <laughs> this side wiggles, but I went scavenging and found this alternator off of one of your other cars. I stole the pulley off of it, and it happens to be the exact same diameter of shaft, so... Win-win. <laughs> Convenient. fit like shockingly well in there. It's the beginning of day two. I haven't seen the car in over 24 hours. I miss it so much. Uh, how's it going? Uh, pretty good. I got the uh, first and most sturdy Dude, mount. That built. is massively sturdy. Yeah. Uh, using a lug nut. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know. It is 3.30 on Tuesday. Uh, how do you feel about time? Should be able to get it mounted and plumbed. I hear the uh, ECU isn't going to be here till like as we're leaving. Really? Anyway, so we can totally get this all hooked up and then start it up even without the other ECU because mm -hmm. like it'll still run. It won't mm -hmm. run optimally. I don't think we've ever built a car that runs optimally. <laughs> so it's a pretty hard thing to do for uh, YouTube is build cars that actually run right. right. It's nice to talk to someone who understands my pain. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, man? Oh, well, you know, just. Uh, Mounting a supercharger. What do you expect to happen here? We're gonna make um, more. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should make some more power. Well, it's gonna be fun much. either way. I'm excited yeah. to see. This is awesome, but I, I have some bad news for you. Actually, uh, I kind of need this lift. <laughs> I am also <laughs> of in the middle of a huge project. So I was messing around with the supercharger and found the gasket in there. It's just like a piece of random, I don't know, packaging for for something that they cut into a gasket. Get out of here. It's just a piece of paper. No way. Like a piece of used paper. <laughs> oh my God, there's symbols on it. Cigarette, harmful, healthy. <laughs> Some guy in the shop is just like putting this supercharger together and he needs a gasket yeah. and he needs like a slice out of this cuts thing. The, cuts the box. Yeah. Don't smoke. <laughs> Was that advice for the car? <laughs> yeah, please don't smoke. <laughs> don't smoke. Dude, this is so funny. See the air filter there? Is that like? So that's, yeah, that's like where it's gonna go. Dude, that means we can do a vent and it'll make sense. Dude, I like this car more than my golf. This is so funny and so cool. You guys are funny and cool. <laughs> 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 do you recognize any of these like couplers? Yeah. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you line up the belt? Just eyeball yep. or throw a belt on? <laughs> yep. No Dude, triple digits, baby. <laughs> It's like the biggest waste of a dino time. <laughs> and we've done it <laughs> twice. <laughs> Dude, look at this thing. We gotta shave the bay. <laughs> I love this car. This is my favorite car in the fleet. Well, hopefully I don't kill it. So I've been told that the Grindhard guys have the supercharger complete and in the car. I have definitely not heard it, but apparently it starts and it runs. And I'm super excited. Looks nice. The moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see how it sounds and then how it drives. Uh... <laughs> all right, everybody ready? Looking at it, I think we've gained 15 more. Our test track has stop signs. <laughs> <laughs>
we passed the rocks and like an F1 car. We lost it. Something just popped off. <laughs> no, the belt's still on there. It blew off the uh, boot. Coupler. Yeah. We lost the coupler. So good. Fun. I can't wait for this thing to be tuned. You think it sounds good? It feels even better. <laughs> it's amazing how much quieter it got. <laughs> Not that part. I'd say that was a success. Dude, one hundred percent successful. Nice. Dude, good job, bro. Thanks. Good bro. job, guys. This thing is a certified ripper. Watch it make like fifty horsepower. <laughs> In case you didn't know, Inglewood Propulsion Laboratory is what we call our shop here in Inglewood. Now, I've been testing this hat out for a few months. That's why it's so dirty, but it's working. So we decided to release it. So go to donutmedia.com to get yours today. Right now, go, click it. Best hat ever. These coming soon. Garage door is not for sale. So there's one last test. We gotta put this thing through. Will it make more power, baby? We'll find out, we're going to the dyno. Right now! Triple digits, baby. Mm -hmm. Watch it make like 50 horsepower. Oh, <laughs> Three digits, baby. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Cut it in half. <laughs> That's terrible. That's oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, lesson learned here. Technically, it did work but I would not buy it and I would not put it on your car. Shouts out to Grind Hard Plumbing Co. Check out their YouTube channel. We'll put a link in the description below. Here's their video about putting the supercharger on Leonardo DiCaprio. Thank you so much for watching this video. Everything else on Donut. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Go to DonutMedia.com, buy yourself some merch, make your own crew, work on cars. They're gone, James, they left. <laughs>